place. Hello traders, Ala Peters at 157 EST. On this beautiful few minutes before FOMC, this is what price is showing to us. That this is crucial Fibonacci resistance to the upside. On daily chart market in massive bullish correction. Daily chart is showing to us extremely clearly. If Fed is not raising the rates, market is heading back up to 2100 level. This remains brick wall. When it comes to hourly charts, buyers domineering this market. Knowledgeable trader knows we are off to the races. On multiple charts across multiple time frames, bullish trades already in a play. This is reversal zone. This is a level that's been in front of you since September 8th. Since September 12th, bias remains in this level, firmly bullish. Every single time price came to reversal zone, from this support on this resistance, bias remained firmly bullish. This morning I spelled out to you extremely clearly. Bullish entry into this level, not an option. I spelled out to you extremely clearly. You know Fibonacci and price action rules. You know what to do when price comes to reversal zone. So, this is what's in a play currently. Is a knowledgeable trader acquiring a position right now? Absolutely not. Right now, it is way too late. This is a trade that's already in a play. This trade already reached reversal zone traders. This trade is already four points later. So if you're a knowledgeable Fibonacci trader, your daily quota had been met, your stop is outside of break even. This is one of my favorite charts of all times. This is magic Fibonacci number that set many, many hours, many, many days ago. When price will come to this level, rules are met, take a trade. That pure and that simple. So right now, before FOMC release, we know extremely well. Market will put us through extremely violent spikes back and forth, back and forth. Bias as low as possible is bullish. Bias as high as possible is bearish. Right now, we allow market to settle down. We'll witness phenomenal spikes of 20, 30 points back and forth instantly. We will allow market to settle down and only then we will pay attention to the news. FOMC holds target range as expected. How did we know that this was crucial Fibonacci support? And how did we know to expect violent, violent spikes? This is reversal zone on this trade. Are you clear? The danger of being in a trade at the time of the news release and the importance of moving stop outside of break even? This is very powerful reminder. Know the news and know when to enter and when to exit. Are you clear on this example? So, allow market to settle down and then we'll monitor for another point of entry. Bias firmly bullish. Clear on that? As spelled out since September 12th. All the levels in front of you. Doesn't matter what chart you trade. Doesn't matter if it's weekly or monthly. Knowledgeable trader requires position as low as possible. This is your ultimate level. Price is heading to here. After this level, price is heading here. Right now, we need powerful retracement. Shock or not. What a stunning, stunning bullish news. Rates are not raised and market crushing and burning. How many points did market reverse from this Fibonacci level that's been in front of you since early September? Market already reversed many, many points. Lower the market goes, interesting more market will become almost six points. We would love to see market even lower, as knowledgeable trader requires position as low as possible, not as high as possible. This is crucial Fibonacci resistance on hourly. This is the level that's been in front of you for weeks. Hourly chart will forever remain guiding light to your day trading decisions. 
same exact level had been present in front of you on monthly for years. This is where bearish correction had ended. That lasted two and a half years. Except on monthly it was crucial support. On hourly it's crucial resistance. Since weeks ago, in a play right now, weeks later, I've been warning you, bullish news does not mean a thing if this Fibonacci level in front of you. I've been warning you, if you choose to enter anywhere near this level on bullish news as you witnessed on oil, nothing good will ever happen. Selling pressure picking up the steam. The fun will begin when price will be here again. Every bearish trade currently firmly count a trend that this short on S&P will respect this crucial Fibonacci target as you witnessing every single trade, different stop and different target. How did I know that this would be crucial Fibonacci support? Key moment on S&P traders. This exact same support that's been playing out on oil for four years. Same Fibonacci levels, very different set of rules. A buyer stepping in with vengeance. Knowledgeable trader knows how crucial this moment is on S&P. This level will determine if bearish trend is major or if bearish trend is minor. Does not mean a thing. Bullish news rates are not raised. Welcome to the world of Fibonacci. Buyers stepping in from the end of the minor trend. Shock or not? Isn't market flawless Fibonacci puzzle? How did we know that this will be crucial Fibonacci support? Fibonacci said so. This is exact same level as been crucial Fibonacci support on Apple. Apple had stunning earnings at 130 but crashed and burned to 93. How did I know that 93 is where Apple would stage bullish rally until 111? Posted on January 25th, reached and done in the month of April. Every time. And that's the reason I live and breathe Fibonacci. That's proving time and time again that everything that surrounds us is perfect. All we have to do, conquer greed and ego. All we have to do, play by the rules in everything in life, especially when it comes to day trading. Fibonacci levels show you with high 90% accuracy where your targets, where your exits, and where your entries must be. And that's 20 plus years of work, studying price and Fibonacci. As you're witnessing, the trail was placed in perfect place. As you're witnessing, trail still respected. Will this trail be broken with vengeance? This is the end of the minor bearish trend. Buyers not defending this level with vengeance. Not yet. Here we go. Buyers stepping in on S&P just like they've done on Apple. Bearish trend is minor. This crucial Fibonacci support respected. This is first target on S&P. And this is powerful reminder. Do not jump on a bandwagon for the powerful bullish news. As Fibonacci will forever override any news. This month's trading room had been open 16 hours. Out of those 16 hours, probably 7-8 hours, market danced in correction. This trade number 15. This trade number 15 reached one target. This one target, if you're a knowledgeable trader, if you placed your order properly, a stop limit order, three and a half points. 
If God forbid you are placing your market, your trades as market orders, it's very dangerous game in day trading. As you're witnessing, every single trade stop and target spelled out by the price and Fibonacci. As you're witnessing, every single target identified by Fibonacci far in advance with very high accuracy. And it doesn't matter if it's Apple Monthly, it doesn't matter if it's one minute chart S&P. It doesn't matter if it's S&P hourly. So, every time price comes to this Fibonacci level, spelled out by the price many, many weeks ago, it remains brick wall. Despite bullish news, despite rate not being raised, this remains brick wall. This is what we discuss and presented to you after FOMC release. If you ever entering near this level, nothing good will happen. And if you know far in advance where this level is, you absolutely expect pain and torture. As knowledgeable trader trades only between Fibonacci levels, never into Fibonacci levels. So if you would like to learn how to trade Fibonacci, how to apply Fibonacci to any instrument in any time frame. Next class starts Monday, September 26. Any questions? Never hesitate to call or email me. 925-257-4298 or info at fibinstitute.com. <laughs>